My name's James Tanner, um, I'm an illustrator. I was always into art, like, um, I used, that was what I was best at basically at school, so I'd draw all the time that I was drawing from like, you know, as soon as I could pick up a pencil that was like my favourite thing to do. Like, I study illustration and I suppose all of my work kind of looks like illustration but I'm, I don't really do kind of brief led work, you know, I kind of take a fine art approach to what I to the drawings that I do. This is a book that I got in the market, in, in Deptford Market. And it's, um, it's one of the kind of main influences on a lot of the drawings I'm doing at the moment. It's, uh, it's all photos from silent films. The cinema has been like a really big influence on all of my work. So a lot of old films and a lot of, um, I don't know, like, yeah, like 50s and 60s films I'm really interested in. In terms of English directors, I think my favourite would be Alfred Hitchcock, um, just because of the like from the start of his career to the end is such a, a continuity but also a kind of difference between the films he was making early on and the ones he ended up making. We're on Deptford Market um, which is on the high street where I live um, and you can get amazing stuff here, it's like a junk market. It's just a really good melting pot of people, kind of a freedom about, about the sort of things they're selling. How much did you want for that one? That one? Oh, yeah, I'll get that one, please. Yeah, I'm quite into football. I was, I was a lot more so when I was younger, kind of following Tottenham, like from the age of like five or six. I'm from Norfolk, um, but I used to come, I used to come to North London every, well, not every weekend, but most weekends for um, on like a supporters coach. This is a photo from, I think I was about. I don't know, it's probably about 12 then, that's probably when we first started going, um, of me and my friends, um, David, who we used to, he was the, the other Tottenham fan from Norfolk. And um, it was like for Match Magazine, which was like a, a football magazine in the 90s, and it was like you had to incorporate a box of strike cereal into your photo and prove that you were the biggest, the biggest fans of your club. Growing up in England kind of affects everyone differently, I think. I mean, for me, um, I don't know, I've not really known anything else, so I think I've probably grown up a very typically English way. I'm happy to be English, you know, and I, I think it's, I've grown up quite well. In life, generally, being a team player is a, a good thing, a positive thing. It feels pretty good to be part of this one. In the immediate future, I want to carry on making the sort of work I'm making and progressing it. And I don't know, I'd quite like to have a show by the end of next year. The aim is to be making a living from artwork solely without kind of compromising, you know, the reasons I'm doing it and, and the work I'm producing.